little video to show you how to program the uh, WT5E8D uh, sound modules. I noticed on YouTube there's a distinct lack of examples of people using these uh, by native English speakers. So for English speakers, uh, this is your video if you want to start using one of these modules. Um, these are a couple of them that I just have on some protective foam right now. That's two modules. This is what I put in my lightsabers uh, to make the sound, at least my most recent one. And this has all the sounds on it. And when you order the programmer, you can find these on eBay, and this is what they look like. There's a couple different styles, uh, but I've, I found this, this is, I don't know, I just picked this one at random. It programs one. There's some that are bigger that have extra buttons. I, I don't really know what they do, uh, but this is just a cover. If yours looks like this, uh, this will show you how to use it. So, you just take your programmer like this, and you take one of your modules, And you'll notice on the module, I apologize the lighting here isn't really great, but there's a there's a notch at the top, and that shows you where the top is, and then on the left is pin 1. So that'll also help you when you're reading the manual, trying to figure out what pins to plug in where. Pin 1 is over here on the left, when the notch is on the top. So you take your WT588D sound module, and you put it on top of the programmer, in the slot and you put it all the way at the bottom so that the last pin is at the bottom like that make sure it's really in there and then you pull the lever and that'll lock it in place and assuming that's a good secure connection take a USB cable the other end's plugged into my computer just plug it in Alright, and so, depending on what model you've got your programmer, you should see some lights. That's a good thing. And then once you have that, you can go over to your programmer. This is the application. There's newer versions of this application. Uh, I apologize that I'm doing this with a camera aimed at a screen, but I don't have any good video capture software. So, this is one of my... Uh, lightsaber you know projects um, assuming you already have your project configured I'm not really going to get into that uh, in this video just go to tool download data pick the flash size for your module this is an 8 megabyte module that I'm using hit connect you should see something like this it says connected that's good and you'll see some some text down here hit the download SPI flash button and the first thing it does is erase the uh, the old project if you have one on there and then it'll just start downloading the new data and then it's done so if everything went according to plan then you should see a message to download okay or you know some some sort of affirmative message saying that it was okay when it's done hit disconnect and that comes up and you're done. So when you're done with that, you can uh, you can close that or leave it open. Doesn't really matter. And go back to your programmer, and you can just unplug it. Pull the lever back, and then pull your module out and go put it on your breadboard or whatever it is you're doing with it. And that's basically how you program the uh, the sound modules. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.